In electronics, resistors can be connected to form a device called a potential divider. As the name would suggest, it divides the potential difference or voltage into two or more parts. Using two resistors, the potential difference is divided in two, and if both resistors are of an equal value, the potential difference will be divided equally between them. This means that we can develop any voltage we need between the upper and lower limits of the power supply by changing the values of these resistors. This can be accomplished more easily by using a potentiometer, so the resistances can be varied. But let's say you don't have access to a potentiometer, or in fact any resistors at all. What are you going to do? Well, I think the title probably gave it away. You can use a potato, because it can in fact function as a resistor. In my mind. So I'm going to use a red flavoured potato to test this, and my power supply will be this high voltage transformer, because the resistance of a potato is so great that it simply won't work on lower voltages. So I'll connect it up, just like a potentiometer, and then if I grab a voltmeter and connect common to ground, I should be able to tap off anywhere along the potato to get any voltage that I need. It won't go over about 250 volts because, well, let's face it, it's a potato and it's hardly designed to be used like this. Nothing's perfect. Now, if I'm measuring from here to here, surely it's possible to just pick two areas at random and still get a usable potential difference. And it is. In fact, I can get it down to really quite small levels. You could probably run an LED off that. And would you look at that, you can. It doesn't matter where you tap off, if the two points are the right distance apart, you can still get a usable potential difference of about 3 volts, which is good enough to run as many LEDs as you want. Within reason. They're flickering a little because they're running on AC from that transformer. You can even power a small electronic circuit, provided that you rectify it to get DC. And when you get bored, you can just resort to destruction and mayhem. Mmm, that smells horrible. So now, if you're ever stuck with the wrong power supply, there's no need for fancy circuits or electronic components, just grab a potato, plug it in, and enjoy the luxury of an infinitely variable power supply. Thanks for watching, see you soon.